Now that we understand that SharePoint document libraries are pretty much just like your OneDrive library, and we understand what lists are capable of inside of SharePoint and how similar lists are to libraries, with the exception of, you know, lists don't have to have documents, let's move on to how we can uh, manipulate columns and create views to create report-like experiences of our lists and libraries in SharePoint. So I'm starting out here on a new employee onboarding team site, and I know it's a team site again because it has a left-hand navigation here. Now, this particular group has decided to pretty much take off most things on their left-hand navigation, leaving just a training audit link, which is the library we're looking at here, and their recycle bin. Now, since home is not listed there, just a quick tip here before we move on, you can click on a site logo to go to the home page, even if it's not part of your navigation. And if you're not seeing something you're looking for, or maybe something was accidentally removed from navigation, you can always go to your settings wheel and choose site contents. This shows you everything that's part of your site. So let's go back to where we started on training audit. Now that we kind of know how to troubleshoot a little bit if something looks askew. So here in training audit, notice I've already got a bunch of documents in here. There's the traditional modified and modified by columns in place, but there've been a few columns added for review process, review date, and region. And we can see already that there's some conditional view formatting going on here, where this column has conditional formatting based on approved or not approved, and this column just has some, some color blocking based on the region, so color coordination basically for a choice column. So those are both pretty simple to do out of the box. We will cover those in a later lesson, but for this one, we're gonna use these columns to create views. So what I'd like to do is I'd first like to create a view instead of all documents, just one that shows a specific category of review process. So I'm going to drop down the column header for review process, choose filter by, and then I just want a view that shows me all of those that have not yet been approved. Okay, so everything but approved and apply. There we go. And then notice there's a star on the view name in the upper right hand corner. And that just means that I've made changes to this view that are not saved. So if I come back here later, my view is not saved and all documents will again show all statuses there. So my next step then is to click on the view menu and save view as. Okay, to create a new view, I've got to save view as. And I'm gonna call this one not approved. So pretty much any status that's not approved and save. All right, now notice in the upper right hand corner, instead of all documents, it shows not approved. And none of my approved items, of course, are showing up in that uh, view. So quickly, just to demonstrate the, the change here, I can switch back to the all documents, which includes my green approved, and scroll down and maybe find another uh, few there, or switch over to my not approved view. So that's a, a pretty simple example of how to create a view. Um, you can also do groupings. So for example, on my region, if I wanna view all of these uh, documents by their region, I might start from the all documents view again, drop down region and group by. And now I basically get a roll up of all of the counts per region here. I've got 21, 48, 22, and 23 that have yet to be assigned anything. So I could use my edit and grid view or I could just select each one and make changes to those items to make sure they get a region assigned. So with these, I can expand them, of course, and view all of the Americas together, so on and so forth. Okay, so once again, I wanna make sure I save this view so I can use it again in the future. So I drop down my view menu, save view as, and I'm gonna call this one grouped by region and save. Now I have three views, the original all documents with no filters, no grouping. I have a filtered not approved that I created second, took out all of my approves. And then I've got a grouped by region that gave me kind of a report view at the top level here. So remember that lists and libraries share this and that you can do this, this exact same thing in a list. Now, one last idea for you here is that you can also filter any person column. So modified by, created by, uh, or also like a assigned to or manager, whatever kind of people feels you add to your list or libraries, you can filter those to always show the current person their specific view. So what I mean by that is if I drop down modified by and choose filter by, there's an option for me. Now in this scenario, I'm acting as Megan Bowen. So I could just choose Megan Bowen, but that means when Joni comes and looks at this list, she only sees Megan Bowen's items, right? 
the at me that you see as a filter option is always going to show the current person who's logged in their specific view. So if Joni goes to this list and pulls up a view that's filtered by at me, Joni sees Joni's items. So if, if you have a column for assigned to and items are assigned to Joni, Joni has her own custom list of things that are assigned to or her responsibility. So let's try it out. I'll do this at me as Megan and apply. And then I need to remember to save this. So I'm going to drop down this time I grouped by region since that's where I started, save the view as, and we're going to call this assigned to me or maybe modified by me or created by me, something like that. And then in this case, when I drop it down, I can see it worked because I see Megan Bowen's name in the modified by column. Now, sometimes you're going to have uh, um, columns that are hidden or not in view, such as the default created and created by. So if you're looking for a column you don't see in a view and you want to add it to it, you can click add column and then at the very bottom show or hide columns. And then you'll see everything that you could possibly add here, such as created and created by and anything else that you've added and maybe hidden at some point you can uh, re-add here. So I'll apply those and maybe I actually want to swap out created for modified. So I take out those two columns, apply, and now notice my created and my created by is here and my modified and modified by is gone. So my view is saved as assigned to me where I have different columns I've selected for this one. And just to show you comparison again, I can switch back to all documents where I've got my modified and modified by, but on my assigned to me, I chose to swap that out. Okay, now I can do some rearrangement right here in this view. So if I wanted to put created where modified was, I just drag and drop. Okay. And then notice that saved automatically. So you don't have to save as everything. Some things do save right away. All right, so in the next lesson, we're gonna learn how to do conditional formatting like we see here in the review process column, where if something equals a certain value, it displays a certain kind of way.